Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the innervations of the intrinsic shoulder muscles. Now, if you remember from a previous video, the intrinsic shoulder muscles are muscles that are contained fully within the shoulder. So they originate mostly on the scapula and insert on the proximal humerus. So those are the muscles that we're going to talk about. Those are muscles uh, like uh, deltoid, the deltoid muscle, uh, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major, and then on the other, on the anterior surface, we have subscapularis. So those are the muscles that we're going to talk about and what the innervations of those muscles are. When it comes to the innervations, there are three main names I want you to remember the axillary nerve, the suprascapular nerve, and the subscapular nerves. And with the subscapular nerves, of course, there's, they are the upper and lower subscapular, or you can call them the superior and inferior subscapular. So axillary nerves, and then the other two make sense. S scapular, right? Okay, We're dealing with the shoulder muscles, and uh, the scapula is a big part of that. So suprascapular nerve, and subscapular nerves. These are the nerves that are going to be doing the innervations of the intrinsic shoulder muscles. So that's the order that we're going to take them. Let's first start with the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve, if you remember when we looked at the brachial plexus, that is going to come from the medial, div the, the lateral division or the lateral branch of the posterior cord. All right, so the lateral branch of the posterior cord is this axillary nerve. And that axillary nerve, uh, if you remember when we looked at the gateways to the posterior scapular region, that is going to go through the quadrangular space, and then it's going to innervate these two muscles, deltoid, the deltoid muscle or deltoidius muscle, and teres minor. So the axillary nerve innervates deltoidius or the deltoid muscle and teres minor. Let's move on to the next nerve and that is the suprascapular nerve. And that suprascapular nerve, you can see it here coming off of the superior trunk. And you remember this is a nerve that goes, it extends laterally and posteriorly and it goes through the suprascapular notch. All right, the, the suprascapular foramen, that's one of the gateways. And this is the nerve. Remember, army goes over the bridge. Navy goes under the bridge. And the nerve is the navy in this case. And that's going under the transverse scapular ligament. If that sounds like a totally different language, go back and watch the video um, that I spoke about, where I spoke about the gateways to the posterior scapular region. And you will get that one time. You'll, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. So it's basically coming back and going through that scapular notch. And it's going to innervate these two muscles, supraspinatus and infraspinatus. All right. So suprascapular, it's going to go back uh, and it's going to go through the uh, su suprascapular foramen and innervate supraspinatus and infraspinatus. And then we have the subscapular nerve. And remember we said we have the upper subscapular nerve and the lower subscapular nerves, or the superior and the inferior. All right, so since these are subscapular nerves, both of them are actually going to innervate subscapularis, which is this one that you see here highlighted in red. Subscapularis, it makes sense if this is named subscapularis for both of the subscapular nerves to innervate that muscle. So upper and lower or superior and inferior subscapular nerves are going to innervate that subscapularis muscle. And if you remember when we looked at the brachial plexus, these two nerves come off the posterior cord. All right, so that's the upper and the lower. Then the lower by itself, without the help, the, without the help of the upper, is going to innervate 
teres major which is this muscle shown here and you know it kind of makes sense if you look at the arrangement uh, the teres major is inferior to subscapularis uh, so that's going to get the inferior scapular nerve it just makes sense at least i think it does so subscapularis gets innervation from both upper and lower subscapular nerves teres major gets innervation from just the lower or the inferior scapular subscapular nerve uh, so that's pretty much it let's do our quick review here we have deltoideus or the deltoid muscle and teres minor and those are both getting innervated by the axillary nerve then we have supraspinatus and infraspinatus and those are both going to get innervated by, innervated by the suprascapular nerve. And lastly, we have subscapularis and teres major. Both of them are getting innervated by the upper subscapular, I mean, sorry, by the lower subscapular nerve. And subscapularis alone is going to get innervated by the upper subscapular nerve. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, you got some value from it, click on the like button right beneath if you are on YouTube. And you can also subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button above. But most of all, make sure to come over to the website at interactive-biology.com for more biology videos and many other resources to help make biology fun. This is Leslie Samuels. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.